Hello, this is how to do the daily backup for patient file 6.0 desktop version. This is applicable for the light or the pro version. This is very important so that you will not lose your database. Day 1 of backup. First thing that you should do is to create a backup folder. First open documents folder in your PC. And then when you open the documents folder, go to the Easy Clinic folder. Open it. And then in the Easy Clinic folder, create a new folder and name it as Backup My Patient 6. My Patient 6 folder is the official folder for the patient files. So it's already located here. So once you're done, go to the My Patient 6 and right click and copy it. Then go to the Backup My Patient 6, then right click and paste it inside there. May you click skip this file here and then change the my patient 6 name into the date today for example the date today is march 7 2015 then you can use that as the folder name that means you have backed up for march 7 so you're done with your day one of backup in the next day of your backup this is what you should do go open the documents go to the ac clinic folder again the same way, right click My Patient 6 and click Copy and go again to the Backup My Patient 6 folder and paste it there again. And then change that name also into uh, March 8, 2015, meaning that's the day, the next today of your backup. So that's your second day of backup. For the third day of backup, this is what you should do. Go again to the Documents folder, open EC Clinic folder, and again, click My Patient 6, copy it, and go to the back of My Patients, and paste it there again. And then change the name to the date today, which you, again, did a backup, March 9, 2015. The point here is that you do daily backup separately. You don't need to overwrite the backup yesterday so that it would be a separate file just in case if there's an error, the error will stop or not continue. And if you are already doing a daily backup and you've run for a month already, you can uh, make a folder for that specific month. So a month, the, all the folders for March will be under March. Then the next folder would be April and then May. And just do the daily backup every day and then as you go along you can delete the previous months the folders of the previous months because uh, you know that you've already have the latest uh, file so it will save space as well as you go along thank you very much